but we have one final GP plate to decide. And uh, due to a change in the scheduling, um, of course, uh, with the uh, the F100s um, deciding all their O plates for 2018, been fantastic to watch them. I felt absolutely devastated for Bradley Beavers. I have to say, he did a cracking job in the pre-final, but to have uh, mechanical dramas in the last race of the day, the one where it all counted, but congratulations to Alex Kobe. We now have our last GP plate for Bambino Kart Club 2018 to decide, and it is the C50 Comas who are now circulating out on track. So there's been a couple of drivers that have been uh, factoring into this, Ben Smith being one of them, and also current 2018 BKC O-Plate champion, Alfie Howland. Um, these two have been battling um, tooth and nail. Seb Moore from Rochdale also has been in this. This particular heat now is the one where it will decide who becomes our Bambino Kart Club C50 Coma time trial GP plates champion for 2018. We've already decided three already uh, this weekend. Congratulations to Joseph McMahon, Honda Cadet, also Jack Buckley, Iami Cadet, and now fully confirmed, Riley Cranham is not just the O plate champion, he's also the GP, uh, GP plate champion following the technical exclusion post scrutineering of Ty Buckley. But I have to say that was definitely one of the uh, the moments of the season um, as we see both Seb Moore and Alfie Howland uh, literally line astern. I've seen this quite a few times. Uh, for those that had a look at the Downforce UK Facebook page, we posted our preview this morning in the form of a three and a bit minute roundup. And I got a complaint. Aidan Hassan. Get well soon, buddy. Hopefully see you at Larkle. Um so first two times coming in and it's Seb Moore, 1 minute 28.034. Alfie Howland, 1 minute 28.253. Lucas Stonia up into uh, second on a 1 minute 28.077. Uh, I'd like to also personally thank uh, the entire crews uh, for the Bambino Kart Club, the F100 and also Nuts Corner um, for their work, also the marshalling team, uh, the people that are running other bits and pieces, so like, say, the, the cafeteria, the marshals. They've done a fantastic job to keep us on schedule as best they can today. So our two championship protagonists are now going down the back straight, nearly side by side. We're pretty much there. And this will conclude the action for round seven of the championship before we head to Scotland, uh, to Lark Hall, to the West of Scotland uh, Kart Club in five weeks' time. So the kids will be able to have a bit of a recharge of the batteries, depending if some of these uh, stern petrol heads um, will have maybe the odd uh, race meet or two between them. But also it's uh, time for the parents also to have a bit of a welcome break. I did say da um, thank you, Darren Wright, for that uh, nice little message earlier on when you said uh, greetings from the spa with you and Riley Wright stuck in the uh, paddling pool outside. Nice. Uh, and here in uh, North Essex, it's uh, blowing a bit of a gale, clouds overhead, and there is rainfall, um, which makes a change uh, considering where I'm going next week. Um, so, oh, well, there we go. New fastest time, Ethan Bath in the number 24, 1 minute 27.199. So, top 10 at the moment, it's Bath from Moore, Stonia, Howland, Evan Johnston rounds out the top five. Uh, also, you've got Jesse Phillips in sixth, Jason Park in seventh, Alex Butler eighth. Uh, Jack Moran and Jack McLaughlin round out the top 10. Ben Smith, in the uh, meantime, is circulating, but his last effort was only a 2 minute 36, considering he went 1 minute 20 in the last heat. Uh, there's Ollie Meek, uh, the C50 cool dude of the paddock, interviewed that. Uh, he's a nice guy, him and his dad. They're, they're really, really nice to be around, um, as is every family uh, in the Bambino Kart Club. I am missing being there in Northern Ireland with them. You've also got Jesse Phillips and Ronnie Ray Carter there as well. Ronnie gave us one of the best interviews all season. You can go to the dedicated Bambino Kart Club YouTube channel, 
where, as I announced earlier on, thanks to our good friends at Alpha Live, that every single race, every single time trial, every single final will be posted and uploaded on the Bambino Kart Club official YouTube channel, which is created in association with us here at Downforce UK and Alpha Live. We feel it's best to uh, allow people the chance to scroll through races uh, because at the end of the day, we're here to help give these uh, youngsters an opportunity to get their names heard and get them showcased and that's what we're all about here at downforce uk motorsport should be fun and um you know with the amount of fun and uh good times uh, you know when i've spoken to to multiple families in, in the bkc it's a pleasure to be a part of it and um they really have taken me on board as one of their one of their family despite me being the one getting all shouty behind the microphone as uh We've got Ollie Meek, Ronnie Ray Carter, um, also Jesse Phillips. Jesse's currently running in sixth at the moment, but we are approaching the halfway point in time on this uh, GP plate final. So, could now I did say earlier on today, could we see two of our existing O plate title winners take GP plates? Well, one has already done that in the form of Riley Cranham. Now it's going to be a case of, is Alfie Howland also going to be another driver to complete that feat this weekend? We still have over six and a half minutes to go. It's still all to play for. I'm not discounting anybody because I've seen it before where we had the O plate and Seb Moore was leading. And literally on the last couple of seconds, Alfie Howland got me so excited. I called him Alfie Moore by mistake. Thank you to his dad, Luke, for WhatsApping me from Northern Ireland and telling me this phase, this this fact. So it's obviously, unfortunately, Alfie Howland's got a bit of a commentator's curse and the fact I call him Alfie Moore by mistake. But I am trying to watch my P's and Q's. Thank you, Luke, for keeping me in check. So just keeping an eye on any, anyone that's improving. Jack Moran and Jack McLaughlin have just been doing 1 minute 31s. Uh, which is around about sort of four seconds off the pace that's been set by Ethan Barth. Now, Ben Smith, I think, might very well be out of contention. He is actually in the pits. So the number 11 will unfortunately, I think, take no further part in this session, and that's a real shame. Um, ben is uh, from Ballymena, and he's running on the Tony Kart chassis. That's a real shame for the number 11. So, Ollie Meek hits the top 11 once again. And 1 minute 31.660. Uh, just been completed by the number 20. He's from Nottingham. Uh, currently running on a right chassis. So, we, we've got um, CRG, Top Cart, Right, Birrell, uh, Synergy. Just some of the providers. So, four minutes 30 to go as our two championship protagonists, Seb Moore leading Alfie Howland uh, through turn number two. So, Moore is 0.437 of a second behind. So, Seb Moore's behind Ethan Bath by about four, just under four and a half tenths of a second. 0 0.0437 if you want to get pedantic. Uh, Alfie Howland is a further second, is actually a, fur, is a second adrift off of Ethan Bath, but he has impressed me all the way through this season as young Alfie. Very nice young man, loves his motorsport. Uh, big fan of Mercedes, as I uh, attained to earlier on this year, uh, earlier on today. So we're going to see some drivers put in some laps. I'm hoping that they're going to be a little bit quicker this time around. So Jensen Chalk now overtakes Oliver Meek for 11th place. 1 minute 31.559 from the number 18. Uh, who, heads, who hails from Wooten Under Edge. Currently running on the Synergy chassis. So, no improvement from the top three, nor Alfie Howland in fourth. 
Well, Ben Smith stoned the Crows. He was waiting for his chance, and with two minutes and 50 seconds, the number 11 has just put in a one minute 27.002. So from dead last to top of the tree, that's what Ben Smith has just done in just one lap. And he's done three laps in, cons in consideration to what everyone else has carried out. Ethan Bath, Seb Moore, Lucas Stonia, Alfie Howland, all on six laps. Evan Johnston, Jesse Phillips. Top ten are separated by 4.335 seconds uh, in this GP plate uh, time trial here at Nuts Corner. Yeah, Darren, I'm not too sure if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I'm going to await. Uh, well, I mean, the thing is, is, I'm just trying to refresh the timing at the moment. So whether Ben Smith has uh, looked like he parked it, I wasn't too sure. As the sun continues to beat down, we'll await for further confirmation, which we'll uh, announce on the Downforce UK page. Timing results do uh, we get them as soon as they've been the carts have been scrutinized? Well, Ben Smith has just traded fastest lap times now. Uh, Ben's just done a one minute twenty six point four seven nine. So Ethan Bath, who's run in the bottom part of the top ten, is now in contention with one minute thirteen on the clock. Ethan Bath has got to find over three and a half tenths of a second in the next sixty five. So your guess is as good as mine as to what might happen. So we've got 54 on the clock. Jensen Chalk up into 10th. Oliver Meek now down into 12th behind Jack Moran and Jack McLaughlin. Jack Paul now up into 16th place. So top 10, it's Ben Smith, Ethan Bath, Seb Moore, Lucas Stonia, Alfie Howland, Evan Johnston, Jesse Phillips, Jason Park, Alex Butler and Jensen Chalk. So we have 35 seconds on the clock. So Ethan Bath has improved and has crossed the start finish line. But Ben Smith, I'm getting messages at the moment. I can agree with Darren Wright from Bracknell. Darren, yes, they are a lot slower. One minute 20 was what Ben Smith set. But the times have now, the time's now expired. We're going to find out who our GP plate champion is. There's probably some drivers still carrying out their last laps. Alex Butler finishes in ninth. Jason Park, eighth. Jack McLaughlin, 13th. Jack Moran, 11th. So let's just uh, wait and see what happens because there are several drivers, Bath, Moore, Stonia and Howland, all on flying laps. Jesse Phillips finishes in 7th. Jason Park in 8th. Alex Butler, 9th. Jensen Chalk in 10th. Jack Moran, Oliver Meek, Jack McLaughlin ran out the top 13. Ronnie Ray Carter from Runcorn is about to complete a lap very, very shortly, as is Riley Stewart, Brogan McDonald and Jack Poole. Then we'll have our top five, along with Evan Johnston, who's currently in six. So some of them are about to cross the line now. Ronnie Carter finishes 14th. Jack Poole jumps to 16th. Brogan McDonald finishes in 17th. Riley Stewart, who's it going to be? Well, I think it has been decided because right now, Ben Smith is about to cross the line, and for 2018, he becomes the C50 Coma Time Trial GP Plate winner here at Nuts Corner. So let's round out the uh, finishing order for the GP Plate Time Trial here at Nuts Corner for the C50s. So Ben Smith, with 1 minute 26.384, takes round seven of the BKC Championship, but also with that comes the illustrious honor of becoming the 2018 C50 Coma GP Plate Bambino Kart Club Champion. 
Ethan Barth was in the mix and would finish over three and a half tenths of a second adrift, 0 0.0362 exactly. Seb Moore from Rochdale had to round out the podium on third place. It's been close, but no cigar for this chap. For two of our plates that are up for grabs in 2018, uh, Lucas Stonia was fourth. Alfie Howland, who continues to lead the standings in the C50 division, is in fifth ahead of Evan Johnston, Jesse Phillips, Jason Park, Alex Butler, Jensen Chalk rounds out the top 10. Rounding out the 17 strong, it was Jack Moran, Oliver Meek, Jack McLaughlin, Ronnie Carter, Ronnie Stewart, Jack Paul, and Brogan McDonald.